Cron Calendar. It is a next generation calendar for professionals and teams. I have been using it for a little bit of time now, about six months, and I transferred over to it from Woven. I'm gonna give you an experience of how I'm using it, what my opinions are, and I'm also gonna share some invites in this video. So let's start with what Cron Calendar is. It's an independent calendar application. Well, it was, they to market themselves as the next generation for individuals and professionals and teams. A calendar experience that essentially tried to be beautiful and practical at the same time, trying to rival the likes that are on the market right now. Now, Cron is currently in early access which means you need an invite. I will talk about that a little later. However, it's actually been acquired by Notion more recently. You can check out our full video about it if you want to know the ins and outs of the deal and what actually happened. You can find that above. But I'm gonna show you how I go about planning it. I've got it here on screen in front of me and how I use it day to day. Before we begin, I'm super sweaty, so I do apologize as we go throughout this video if you notice me just getting more and more sort of stuffed up. <laughs> in this office, um, but I do apologize. So this is Cron Calendar and I actually moved over from it from an app called Woven and I hate calendar and email apps because they tend to get acquired and Woven was acquired by Slack, which is a well-known team communication tool. Now I started with Cron after some digging about on the market. I felt like it was a good middle ground between being more advanced than Apple Calendar but not as complicated as say Vimcal, which I'm yet to fully check out in terms of its complexity. And I felt that was a good balance in between. Now, there isn't actually a clear path of what Notion are gonna do with Cron, but they have said that they're gonna continue to release updates as an individual application. So if you can see my screen, I tend to view it in a four day view. What's nice about Cron is you can switch between the number of days. In this case, I could do five and you can see five days in advance. Now, one thing I, I actually have checked off normally is weekends. However, I can add weekends in and you can see it pop up as a full week. And I could even pop back to that five day view if I want to. Now, as you can see, if I skip to the week in advance, you can see these are the next five days in advance in, it, in, in general. I tend to just plan social events. I have my wife's calendar attached so that I can see all of her events. I have just blocks of times for meetings. Some apps I'm testing tend to pop up on here, but largely I try to keep meetings to a very bare minimum, maybe about one per week. But if I were to schedule a meeting, I would use the S function. And as you can see, it turns into this sort of grayed out experience where it defaults to Google Meet, which is my go-to one more recently, just because Zoom, I, I've had more problems with it than ex better experiences than Google Meet, especially when I'm on the go, I can easily access that. So you can see here that what it does is it blocks out some time. So 30 minute meeting, and what you can do very much like the other experiences, but it's all embedded inside of the experience. And you can see here that you can paste this whole thing into email or just go ahead and copy the URL for the scheduling link. You can give it a title and modify some of the details there. And what's nice is it actually holds that position, which is really, really nice. Now, if I were to press escape, it will discard that. However, this is great for quick meetings with people. And if I want to as well, I can do a quick meeting with people who I regularly meet with and I can send that on. So what's um, really nice about this is you can still use all of the great calendar coloring schemes and you can even block that on your calendar as well. That's one of the features that I really like in terms of making sure that nobody books a meeting with me during a set period of time anyway. Now, in terms of other modifications to it, I really like how functional and fast it is. In terms of like quickly deleting things, I can quickly delete them with no worries. And I find the command bar to be a really great, quick way to create a new meeting. And what I also like is the additional time zone. I typically try to add San Francisco as a time zone or Los Angeles, that's it, there we go. So you can see on this left-hand side what time it is in San Francisco, which is really nice. Now, I, to be honest, my calendar is one of those experiences where I tend to use a lot of it through Sansama. So a typical day in Sansama might look something like I'm trying to find a day that I've just done, 
here we go. So in Sansama, I might have used it to block periods of time out using the sort of automatic blocking inside of Sansama, which was really, really easy. Now, in terms of design, as I said, it's probably the app that I've loved the most in a calendar experience for some fair time. It's hard to make a beautiful calendar application and they weave an experience like Sunrise into a beautiful speed of like Apple Calendar. And in general, it's a really nice experience. So if you're wondering how to get an invite to Cron Calendar, now I've only got four invites left. Let's have a little look. So I am going to pick four people at random who joined the new routine newsletter, which is our flagship newsletter, which will overview a bi-week, month, bi-monthly newsletter of all of the greatest discoveries, optimizations, and tools in productivity right now. And if you enter in the next couple of days, I'll pick four people at random. So that's how to win it. And you can find all the link in the description. To be honest, I love the speed and function of this application. It's one of my favorites for setting things up. So I do hope you found this video useful let me know. I'm very much looking forward to an AC unit installation after this video. Summer is hitting hot here. <laughs> Thank you very much, folks. And if you enjoyed this video, please do subscribe and also check out our other videos, one which I will put up here and you can find it in the link in the description too. Thank you very much. And I'll talk to you all very soon. Cheerio.